What's going on everybody? Welcome to KPE Paranormal Urbex. Today I am going to show y'all how to find abandoned places to explore. Now what you want to go to have to do, y'all going to have to go to google.com slash maps. Once you get to maps, you will need to go to satellite view. And once you get to satellite view, you got to look at terrain, like the way how it's like made or how it's like been and if there's like holes to the roof of that building or house or whatever you want to explore and other aspects of it being abandoned um, now depending on what state you are in it all varies about how many places they are abandoned counts as um, now for example if I scroll up as you see I found like tons of abandoned places on satellite view I have yet to explore I already explored a lot of them but uh, I'm just going to give like a prime example of what I'm talking about so like for example the Shelbyville mansion that I've been to numerous numerous times but no longer can I go there due to the fact that somebody already bought the place and that's a no longer go to place for a location to explore and investigate um, but you see, for example, there's holes on the roof right there. Decaying aspects of that property and the land. It's overgrown trees. Look at the driveway. Kind of like it's like a brief description and like an idea of what I'm talking about, right? So, like, that's like a prime example of an abandoned building now this here is a mansion so it's considered that as a abandoned mansion but you see all these holes and stuff like that right so that's considered that as like an abandoned property now back over here for example these that I have hearts on are the ones that I have not been to yet but looks like it's abandoned now there may be some abandoned cars on a property attached to the abandoned house or location and whatnot that's normal for an abandoned place you know because you'll find that sort of stuff but um, what I'm trying to say is, like, you'll find lots of abandoned properties if you just take time, look on satellite view. The best view would be on a computer. But uh, if I drag this guy here, place him here, but you see, like, the roads, right? The roads like this here, it's remnants of it being abandoned, like ADT. Uh, just this texture, right? But look at this part here. Right here. Okay. Now, if you look at on an aerial view, you can see, like, where it's it being abandoned. But if you look at street view, it's like a brief idea of it, considering it is abandoned. Now, this is 50-50 here. I mean, it's pristine. But abandoned places just can be pristine, and they just vanish or be left, you know, everything left behind inside the house, and they just up and left, you know what I'm saying? But, uh... It's just like, you know, the terrain, you got to look at that, the road, the condition that it is, the terrain of the grass, and the satellite view, the area, aerial view of the house. But another example I want to showcase, a better example, is, um, right here? Yeah, better example. Okay. So, here, for example, look at this. Holes in the roof. You all get the idea. Um, drag the guy here. Where is it? Okay. Go back over here. Do to do, do to do, do. Okay. Alright, you see how this is all slanted, right? Hold on. Sorry, try to get you all a better view. Alright, see how this is all slanted? That's abandoned. Right? Look at that. It's creaking, slanted. You know, billboards falling apart. Not billboards, but uh, plow boards. My mistake fall apart, deteriorating, collapsing. That's abandoned. That's part of what you want to look for. Now, of course, abandoned places will look a whole lot better than that. But, uh, like, for example, I want to go over to Danville. Where's uh, Danville? Danville is somewhere. Let me go ahead and type it in. Now, one place I'm going to go to, right here, is this place here, okay? That's the place I'm going to go to. Now, I've only been here one time, so I'm kind of nervous going back the second time, but, uh, going to check it out and whatnot, 
but uh yeah you can see like remnants of like holes in the roof I accidentally highlighted everything <laughs> but uh you can see holes in the roof you can see the terrain and all that stuff and everything that's considered like an abandoned place there's other structures on the property like the barn area this barn area stuff like that but that's like a prime example of an abandoned place um, another one would be over here this is a really good example of one all right see all this you know not really garbage but uh remnants of junk laid all around you know what I'm saying overgrown stuff on the grass um, and a house building that's surrounded by trees woods and then this driveway here gonna drive this guy over here same as last time and just look hold on kinda like froze to bit that's kinda weird look at that ain't that paranormal possibly I don't know of what Google drove the uh, car near that house cause this house is hot and already investigated here plenty of times but look at that that's weird ominous holy crap <clears throat> but look there's a room there's a gas can but uh yeah that's weird that could be paranormal but that's weird it's not it there again alrighty it is not there again but uh you'll know what I'm talking about but driveway deteriorated messed up whole nine yards it's like you know abandoned so that's what you gotta look for the terrain the driveway aspect the holes to the roof whatever on the ground Again, it could be abandoned cars, but look at this. That's how you know a place is abandoned. And you got to check it out in person as well to double check. And usually, when you first look it up on satellite view, it's abandoned. And once you go to person, it's definitely abandoned. And you're good to go to explore it, have fun, make videos, or take pictures, whatever you want to do. Respectfully, safely, and just have a great time. Enjoy the abandoned world architecture. So, yeah. Pretty much all there is to it. Again, this has been KPE Paranormal Urbex showcasing how to find abandoned locations. And until next time, love and peace. I see you on the next one.